Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Divinity TV Summer Body Challenge Day 3. This whole week, this Summer Body Challenge, I'm showing you guys some of the workouts that help me get into shape and stay in shape. And so I'm showing it to you guys to prove that if I can do it, so can you. So follow along with me. This day three now, definitely one of my favorites because what's the first thing when you think of a really fit person, athletic, especially guys, you think of abs, right? And everybody's trying to look good, get those abs going, get those love handles out. So today, I'm gonna be working on some back and some abs and we're gonna get in some cardio to burn off that extra fat and get you looking good. Let's go. All right guys, day three, back in abs. I'm gonna be down here guiding you guys through the workout like usual. First and foremost, like I always say, make sure that you stretch before and after your workouts. This is gonna help you avoid any injuries and also make sure that your muscles are nice, loose, and ready for the workout. First thing we're gonna work on is a lat pull down. This is gonna get you get that nice wide upper back into the nice slimmer waist form that you guys are looking for. Make sure first thing that you're doing, we're gonna be doing 10 reps, three sets. So make sure you got a weight that you can do that with comfortably. Always keep your head up high, keep your chest up, head looking up, and try to stay seated as close in as you can. And you wanna focus when you're pulling down on using your back muscles. And it's gonna take a little bit of bi biceps as well. But make sure that you're focusing on the energy on your back instead of doing it kind of fast and rapidly try to also make sure it is slow and controlled now the next one we're doing is some seated row we're going to do another 10 reps three sets of this now the thing about this one you've probably seen this one and it's pretty popular but a common thing that people do is they lean forward when they're doing this seated row and that can risk injury on your lower back you want to make sure that you keep your back as straight as you can, head forward, chest up, and make sure that you're trying to only use your arms, your biceps, and your back muscles, especially when you're pulling it in. Try to keep your back as flat, as straight, and as controlled as you can. Do a nice slow and controlled movement, especially on the out, and pull it using your back muscles to get that full extension and get your back working. That's how you're going to build that muscle. And the next one we got is a reverse fly. Now, usually the fly is good for the chest muscles, but when you're doing a reverse fly, you really want to focus on your back because that's going to be able to help you get, it's definitely for your mid back. It's going to get you get, help you get that full back form. Get a weight that's comfortable for you. You don't necessarily have to do su such a heavy weight on this one, but comfortable that you can do 10 reps three sets of this. Focus all the energy on keeping your arms straight and really only putting the pressure and the strain on your back muscles. That's going to help you build those back muscles and make sure that you're avoiding injury as well um, by misuse. Now let's get to some abs. And with the abs, you got to work the obliques as well because your back, your ab muscles, your side, your obliques, it's all connected. It makes that one strong core. So the first one I always love to do is the oblique twist, this one right here. Now you can do it on both sides. I like to do 10 reps per side. This one I'm turning right, then I'm gonna do another 10 reps turning left. That's gonna help work both sides, get, the, get rid of those love handles that I know everybody's trying to get rid of. Do a weight that's pretty comfortable with for you. But this one you can generally do a lot of weight with because it's not too much strain, but try to make sure that you keep a tight core and keep your back straight, chest up against the pads as far as close as you can and make sure that you're focusing all the energy on twisting with your ab muscles, with your obliques. Don't try to twist with using your arms or your back. Now this one's another one, just a general crunch, but this one's a weighted crunch. Now the thing about this is, you wanna make sure that you keep your head up and focus when you're doing that full crunch on a full extension, but keep your, your core, your ab muscles tight. 
Really try and tense them because that's the ones that you're really focusing on. I always like to start off by doing three sets of 10 reps, but then I do a little superset, and this is a little bonus for you guys because what I like to do, you can either do a five by five by five or a 10 by 10 by 10. What I mean by that, like I'm doing right here, you just saw me do five crunches straight, but now I turn. You turn to the left, and now you're doing five more crunches focusing on using those oblique muscles and pulling with the crunch to the side. That's gonna help with those love handles again, but it's gonna get your full core engaged. And then again, turn to the right side and do the other side. That's what I mean by five by five by five. You do five crunches front, five side, five side, or if you wanna challenge yourself, do 10 by 10 by 10. Again, with a comfortable weight. I always like to finish off this day back in the house with some cardio. I know nobody likes cardio, but sometimes we gotta do it. I just hit the bike for maybe 15, 20 minutes and it'll get that extra fat off you. And always end your workouts with a stretch, like I always say, especially stretching your ab muscles because we use our core in basically everything we do. So you really wanna make sure that your core is strong but also stretched out. Breathe through your stretches so that you get that full extension, making sure that your muscles are nice and loose and ready so that you're not too sore and you can come back and work out the next day. Now you know that. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys like this back in abs day. I'm gonna get that core looking good. I know everybody's trying to get those nice abs, that nice stomach. So keep doing these workouts with me. And I promise me, I promise you, believe me, it's gonna happen. So if you like this video, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that little bell next to the subscribe button because that's the post notification bell. It'll let you know anytime I put up any new videos for you guys to help you stay in this shape. I'll see you guys next time.